<laughs> so if you're anything like me and you love hammocks and you find finding a little place to put one up, a little bit of a bore, obviously I have Boris um, and sometimes I can hook one up from Boris to a tree, but places like this in the middle of the moors you don't have anywhere. And uh, I wanted to show you this. I recently uh, was given this by Anymacker to do a little video review and uh, just show you this. It was actually not available at the time when I had a look at it. It may be now when you're watching this video. Uh, it was going live on Kickstarter a little while ago. And since I got it, they've actually been backed a million dollars, which is crazy. So it will be available in the future. But right now it's not available and I'm very lucky to be able to try one out. I've tried it out a few times at home at the beach, but today is the first go out in the middle of nowhere. Lie down here next to the stream, one of my favourite spots here. It's actually the first time I tested Boris's camper van out. We came in here and made a cup of tea. Uh, it's just a lovely little spot next to the river here and it's beautiful little location. I love it. So this is the Enimaca portable lightweight hammock stand and it's pretty perfect for me because I love putting hammocks up wherever I can go and it's actually one of those things that are quite rare you can find a spot where it's applicable to have a hammock sometimes you can hook it up between two vehicles it's rare that you've got two there right next to each other you want to have your own little space you can park your vehicle next to a tree and go between the two uh, that's another option and then also you could find two trees that are perfectly spaced between each other and rig up your hammock there and that's what most people do but most people do that when you're going for a proper camp, you know, maybe you're sleeping in a camp, a hammock, and you're in the woods and it's perfect place for it, perfect spot. But I would say 95% of the time, because I am always looking for that, you know, trying to find that perfect spot for a hammock. It just doesn't happen, you know. Most campsites are quite bleak like this, there's no trees around. And uh, when I saw the Eddie Mecca hammock stand, it was like, right that is for me just chuck it in the back chuck it on the roof rack just be able to like slot it out whenever you need come out here sit in the hammock set up right here with a cup of tea go to the side and you can just use it wherever you want which is absolutely perfect so i've only had it for about two weeks and the weather's been pretty terrible so i've used it at home in the garden I've used it in the house just to test it out while it was raining and the other day we actually took it to the beach and had it there and I thought people would be looking at me a bit weirdly but everyone was pretty fine with it actually they actually found it quite interesting and always wanted to ask me what was going on really I absolutely love it you know you can just take it over your shoulder it's quite a big item if you put it in your boot it would be quite a big thing to take with you um, but for me it's worth it more for those sort of day trips rather than the long distance camping stuff and for me I've got the roof rack at the front there in front of the roof tent and you can just chuck it up there with some straps and it's a it's an easy thing to take with you so as you can see it is moving around a little bit you know it does get affected by the wind a bit it's quite a windy day today it's not the perfect for filming a video about a hammock British summer you know at least it's not raining it has been very rainy for the last few days and it's the last day I can try and get this video out before the end of July it does get buffeted around a little bit but it doesn't knock over earlier it was actually shooting out like a parachute and it still didn't knock over which is quite handy and if you actually point one side into the wind a little bit more, it actually um, will go down the hammock rather than shoot out like a parachute. And uh, it's pretty stable actually, which is quite handy. And because of that wind I've just been mentioning, unfortunately there is a piece that I won't be able to put up today, which I haven't actually tried yet because the wind has been so bad. And that is a little canopy awning that goes up with sort of tent poles. I'll try and get that in the future to sort of have a go with that. I'm sure it'd be quite a cool little feature. But... Um, I'll put some photos in now of that so you can see, have a look at that and I'm actually quite excited to see it myself. Um, if there is no wind or light wind and a bit of drizzle or rain you can have it over and I think it's mainly designed for really sunny days so you don't get sunburnt you can sit here, read a book and not get sunburnt basically which is quite handy. Good little feature and talking of things that it comes with and little features, there is a drinks holder and phone behind me which is quite helpful, I used that the other day on the beach and the hammock actually comes with it, which I had no idea, you know, it's advertised as a portable hammock stand, but it's actually a portable hammock. This green, nice green sort of forest, which is my sort of favourite colour, sort of slightly military, two-person hammock. Holly's here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> sit. Sit. <laughs> sit. Okay. Oh, I'm wet now, okay. So it comes with it. I do have a finished air hammock as well. I was thinking of using, and it's very similar, very thin, very lightweight. It actually feels like getting into a bin bag. So it's a bit disconcerting trying to get into it, but actually it's super, super strong, sort of like a parachute material. Uh, just clips on either side and is adjustable as well. I find 
because I'm slightly heavier, as you can probably tell. I want it a little bit tighter uh, so I don't drop down too much, but it is suited for two people. You know, there is a maximum weight, but two people can sit in it uh, so wide. You can actually, if it is very windy, you can sort of cover yourself over like this, <laughs> which is quite good. And I have to say, I think I would try and sleep in this and I might have to do that one day. I've already laid down with a blanket over me, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna use it outside, I reckon. the perfect day to use something like this obviously um, we are used to it in England it's not cold today but it is very windy even if you do this it's uh, gonna be still very sturdy it's like actually a lot of wind pushing into that now but what I was explaining earlier is if you do move it towards the wind it, um, hopefully be uh, a lot less affected by it so it's probably best to use it like this that means that the wind goes along it rather than trying to push it over which is quite handy and you can use it like this just next to the river which is lovely if the weather does turn and uh, starts to rain which I did the other day when I was sitting in my garden if you really need to get rid of it very quickly you just drop the two pins just like that leave the hammock in it and then it's got a little handle there you can carry it anywhere you need the scene very easily if it starts to rain which is very handy so there we go then, a very easy way of putting a hammock up anywhere you go. Um, the only downside, I would say it's quite big and bulky. You wouldn't want to take it on a hike or something like that. You could if you were strong enough, if you had a big enough pack, but it's not something I would definitely recommend. It's something you need to take off the car wherever you go. Took it down to the beach, as I said the other day. Uh, yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I've only had it for two weeks. This is probably the fourth time I've had it out. So it's definitely not a review at this stage. And at the moment, I definitely recommend it, but it will be seen uh, in the future how well it lasts as a, uh, a piece of kit uh, against the weather, the elements and the weight and I'll get a few other people to line it as well. See if Holly likes it and uh, yeah I hope you like this video. I know it was just a specific video about this hammock but uh, I think it's a good product to try and uh, show you to try out and uh, looking forward to taking it on some camping trips in the future so cheers and I'll see you next time.